In this video, we have two examples on how to solve absolute value inequalities. Now, in order to solve our inequalities, we're going to follow a particular pattern. If my inequality, if my absolute value symbol is less than a number, then we are going to solve it in this fashion right here, where my value goes in the center and we solve it uh, with the negative and the positive surrounding it. If, however, and we call that kind of an and solution. If, however, my uh, inequality, I mean my absolute value is greater than a number, then we split it up into two separate equations with an or statement. Okay, and we follow this pattern right here. So we're just going to see which pattern we have to begin with. Here I have the absolute value of 3x plus 5 less than 17. Because it is a less than symbol, we are looking at the first uh, scenario right here, where we have the negative c greater than u uh, less than positive c. Okay. Now the way that we set that up is we take this value, this value right here, which is the constant on the opposite side of the absolute value symbols, this constant is going to come over here and we're going to make it a negative. Because remember, when we have absolute value symbols, we have negative and, uh, when we have absolute value equations, we have negative and positive possible solutions. So that's why we're doing this. So I have negative 17, which is less than now we can take out the, the absolute value part, which is 3x plus 5, and then we bring the 17 down. So we sandwich the absolute value in the center between the positive and negative of its constant, of this constant, and we solve from here. When we do that, we're going to subtract 5 from all sides. So minus 5, minus 5, minus 5. That's going to give me negative 22 less than 3x, which is less than 12. Divide everything in here by 3, because we're trying to get the variable x by itself. So negative 22 over 3, that's not going to reduce any further, is less than x, which is less than 4. And we can write that solution graph the solution by putting the two numbers, 20, negative 22 thirds and 4. We're going to shade in in between, and then we, we need parentheses on either end because of this symbol right here. So to write the solution, it would look like, in interval notation, it's negative 22 thirds comma 4 with parentheses. <clears throat> That's one scenario. That's when the absolute value is less than a constant. However, what if we have the absolute value greater than a constant? Okay, if that's the case, we're going to be looking at this second scenario right here. And that scenario says that I have the absolute value, um, and let me write it a different way. I have my absolute value portion less than the negative or I have the absolute value portion greater than the positive. That's the pattern we're going to follow. Before we can follow that pattern, however, just like in the previous problems of solving equations, we always have to get our variable portion by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2 to the right-hand side over here, and I get 3 times the absolute value of x minus 1 greater than or equal to 6. Now let's divide everything in here by 3. So I get the absolute value of x minus 1 greater than or equal to 2. Here is where we have the absolute value greater than the constant, and we can now put it in its formula that we uh, have up here. So we have the absolute value portion less than the negative of our constant. So less than or equal to negative 2, or the absolute value portion greater than or equal to 2. And those are the two equations we're going to solve. 
So here I'm going to add 1 to the right hand side and I find out that x is less than or equal to a negative 1 or x is going to be greater than or equal to a positive 3. So how do we graph that? Well, we're going to come down here and I have <coughs> negative 1 and a positive 3. Starting with this portion over here, this says x is less than or equal to negative 1. So I'm going to shade less than negative 1. And over here I have 3 is greater than 3, so I'm going to shade greater than 3. Now, because this is less than or equal to, I'm going to put a bracket and this is greater than or equal to and I put a bracket in the opposite direction. So you can see that my solution says it's going to be less than this or it's going to be greater than this. To write that it looks like negative infinity comma negative 1 with a bracket and a parentheses. Union 3 comma infinity. Because I have to combine these two sets together, I'm combining these two interval notations together, we call it a union. And that's how you're going to write the solution set for these absolute value inequalities.